Rose is wearing pink. Rose is wearing pink. Are we sure it's not a white shirt that's just been bloodied in a motorcycle crash? Well, maybe it wasn't her. Does she have a twin sister? If Rosa had a twin, she would have eaten her in the womb. Wait, pull it. Stop. How come none of you teased her about it? It's Rosa. She's scary. You guys are unbelievable. I once wore a tie with a splash of purple. You guys called me Mr. Graves for two years. <laughs> oh, Mr. Graves. I forgot about Mr. Graves. If I wore a pink shirt, you'd tear me to shreds. Well, yeah, but you'd look like a My Little Pony with a gun. <laughs> Let me guess. Your theater club is putting on grease, and you're playing a pink lady. Nice. <laughs> What are you guys laughing at? If Boyle was wearing a pink shirt. I get it. That's hilarious. What's happening? Rose is the one wearing pink. And? It's gorgeous. Wish I could pull that off. Dream on, strawberry shortcake. Yeah, nice try, Mr. Grapes. <laughs> Mr. Grapes! Mr. Grapes! So, do you recognize any of these men? I was hiding in the bathroom stall, so I didn't see his face, but... I heard him. He was singing along to the music at the bar. Do you remember what he was singing? I think it was that song, I Want It That Way. Backstreet Boys, I'm familiar. OK. Number one, could you please sing the opening to I Want It That Way? Really? OK. You are my fire. Number two, keep it going. The one desire. Number three, believe. When I say Number four I want it that way Tell me why Ain't nothing but a heartache Tell me why Ain't nothing but a mistake Now number five I never want to hear you say Woo! I want it, it that way. way Oh, chills. Literal chills. It was number five. Number five killed my brother. Oh my god, I forgot about that part. He's leaving. Our plan worked. We saved our own honeymoon and fun bonus. We cheered up Holt. Yes! OK, it's time to celebrate. You know what that means. This B needs a C in her A. Oh my god. This babe needs a coconut in her arms. Oh, I thought you were saying this needs a c in her Oh my god. Yeah, that was my reaction. All right, I'll go get us a couple of coconuts. Hey, there you are. And oh my god, what is happening? I've gotten mad, and now? I'm getting even. OK, look, sir, I know you're upset, but you need to stay calm and treat this like any other case. I mean, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but now is not the time to go all John Wick. Who's that, a friend of yours? <sighs> I wish, but he's not a real person. He's a movie assassin that goes nuts when someone messes with his dog. Then call me John Wicks, because I'm about to go nuts. It's Wick, singular, and you already did go nuts. It cost us the trace, remember? Look, I need you to focus. The kidnapper texted his demands. How much does the bastard want for my little doggie? Oh, that's just it. He doesn't want money. He requested all the files we worked for May 2004. It's a lead. He's got to be connected to one of those cases somehow. Interesting. You know what else is interesting? Mm. Grenades. Just please stop it. Oh, that's not Brandon's profile. It's mine. I just want a quick peek at your attendance record. Zero absences. Oh, mama. Printing this for later. Keep it in your pants, Santiago. Oh, that's exactly where it's going. OK, here's Brandon's info. Third period, first semester. Any of these people on the football team? Scott Alford, Taylor Black. Wow, Tom Brady? Different Tom Brady. He was in theater, although he was the MVP of that year's production of Fiddler. Hmm. Wait a minute, Danny Matthews. That's the guy. He was on the football team. That's the bastard who set me up. Yeah, and look at this. You did so much community service. Me likey. Uh, sorry, I think I'm feeling a little awkward. Yeah, me too. How do we make it not weird? I know. Let's just get super drunk. Yes, great idea. Pardon me, ma'am. Could you please bring us four kamikaze shots? And four for me as well. Ah, I like your style. See, we can do this. We're back on track. We're keeping it light and breezy. So, we broke a rule. Yeah, I hope it wasn't a mistake. Hope it wasn't a mistake. Title of your sex tape. <gasps> Title of our sex tape. He's not answering any questions. That's OK. I have no questions. That's right. I'm about to monologue, son. You better make it quick. You only got eight minutes. All right, then let me paint you a picture. I'm Philip, a successful periodontist that's become addicted to diazepam, a sedative I take because I'm junkie scum. Also, for real, addiction is a disease I would be super empathetic if you hadn't murdered a man. What is the point of this? I'll get there. So one day, I'm working late when my boss, Robert, surprises me. He found out I was stealing meds. Again, junkie scum. Also, again, not your fault. There's a major genetic component to addiction. He says he's going to file a police report. I could lose my license. We fight, and something in me just snaps. So I grab the first thing I can find, and I hit him with it. You still have no murder weapon. I do now. 
Here's a pic I found on Yelp of the surgical suite six months ago, and here's a shot that our crime scene photographer took of the same room two weeks after the murder. Notice any differences? We're not answering that. That's all right, I can just tell you myself. The Yelp shot has six of these heavy-looking glass awards from the Brooklyn Periodontic Society in the background, whereas this shot only has five. What happened to number six? You murdered Robert with it. I didn't. You lost all control and you bludgeoned him to death. There must have been blood everywhere, but you got lucky. You were in the surgical suite. It can be sterilized. You never would have gotten away with it in your carpeted office. That's not what happened. Don't say anything. More, and your office manager would have heard all of the screaming, but she was at her grandson's play. Lucky again. You're wrong. You put Robert's body into a wheelchair and shoved it in the elevator. It's a miracle there wasn't blood everywhere. That's not true. Now you're in the garage with a corpse. You panicked and left your phone in your office, and you don't have your car keys, but Robert's are in his pocket, so you put him in his car and you take off. No. You can't believe what you've done. No. Philip. You're flustered. You have no GPS, so you just start driving. No. Philip. Next thing you know, you're in the Pine Barrens, and it hits you. Your uncle's cabin. He has a place there. You're the luckiest son of it a bitch. It wasn't luck. Yes, it was. You got lucky at every turn. No, I knew exactly where I was driving. I left my phone in the office on purpose. I was in a surgical suite by design, and I didn't use some glass of that any idiot would clearly see was missing. I made a rod out of a special dental polymer, killed him with it, then melted it back down. It's already in a patient's mouth, son. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And that is three oh dams. Oh, damn! Oh. Yeek. Blast of cold air coming out of that box. Name of Amy's sex tape. Hey, man, come on. Not cool. I'm going through something. Just let me have this one. Good morning, boy. It's Halloween. I'm surprised you didn't put on a costume. I was going to, sir, but then I decided, screw that jazz. Well, I'm the only one who ever dresses up. No one ever gets my costume, and they make fun of me. So I'm done. These people don't deserve my dress-up gifts. Charles, seriously? No costume? What the hell, Charles? Where's your Halloween spirit? But you guys always make fun of me. I have never once insulted you in my life, especially vis-a-vis -vis your appearance. Yeah, man, we always love your costumes. Remember last year when you came as that Person and or thing? Yes, I do remember. Sir, permission to sprint to my car and get my emergency costume. Does it matter if I say no? No! Ba bam bam boom What the, what? Why are you dressed up? You look like an idiot. But, uh, but, uh... Yeah, what are you supposed to be? A sassy car mechanic? No, come on. He's clearly the rejected Pop-Tarts mascot, Harry Pop-Tart. I am not! You know who I am! Squad, that's enough. You're making Boyle feel bad on purpose. He's Elvis. Yes! Elvis Stoiko, the Canadian figure skater. No! But how do I get onto the roof without Holt noticing? Oh, Sarge, you'll already be out there in a perfect golden disguise. The plan worked. I got it. Oh, my God, you look like an Oscar. Ooh, we should take a picture where it looks like I'm holding you. Jay. You're right, there's no time. We'll do it later. No, we won't. Help me get this paint off. Okay, put your hands out, and I'll squirt you with a little makeup remover. Hey no! You betraying me again? Why? Because of the banner. But I thought you said our friendship was more important. Yeah, that was obviously a lie. The banner was very expensive. I don't have a lot of money, Sarge. All right, bye. Don't make a lot of noise. There's more than one right way to make paella, Jake. There are 10 right ways. You got classic Valencian, modern. No, food. wait, stop. I changed my mind. I've made a horrible mistake. Hey, Rosa. Just who I was looking for. Quick question, can I have your friend Katie's phone number? I want to ask her out. No, I don't mix personal and professional. You're never getting her number. Never like we're never going to have a black president never? Because that happened. A real never. Like, if you ever ask me about this again, you're never going to be able to eat without a straw. Yeah, OK. Well, you are on the wrong side of history, my friend. Katie, huh? Wow, I can't believe you're not still pining for Amy. I mean, I pined for years. I still think about Mia, the nurse that helped my Nana pass. Yes, I know. You've told me like a hundred times about the time your Nana collapsed and accidentally pulled Mia's pants down. Best day of my life. I don't have feelings for Amy anymore, so time for me to get out there and spread my legs. Wings. Get out there and spread my legs? Well, I, either way. No, not either way. Only wings. I've already set up my accounts and not to toot my own bugle, but I think I did an admirable job. Oh, okay. What's your handle? I'll be your first follower. It's at 
526-1796-D6-E6-420-486-F6-C74. It spells Raymond Holt in hexadecimal code. Clever, right? Captain, are you sure you wouldn't like some help with this? Oh, no need. Now, for my first tweet, I think I should give an update on the water main break that's actually informative. NYC H2O dash main sit rep colon at 2040 EDT current PSI 456 max cap 2040000 LPM. Suck on that, tasty lemon drop, Olivia Crawford. Oh, look at that, an alert. I'm probably trending already. What? My account has been deactivated. Twitter thinks you're a bot. Why? I'm a human. I'm a human male.